So another gear. Uh, in this position, um, what can you say about white weak pawns? I, I mean, you they're, see, the, the, they're weak. <laughs> yeah, they are weak. They are bad. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, white pieces are more active, and yeah. in, in this game, um, in this position, it compensates the weak pawns. Mm -hmm. So that's why in this position, white were able to win. Moreover, of course, this pawn is a weakness, but at the same time, it controls two key squares, the d4 and b4. Which the knight should go to. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, uh, white played a5. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was thinking about this move. And if knight a5? Um, I wasn't so sure. I was only thinking about it. Uh huh. So we've got a problem. Uh, our um, C pawn's now hanging. Um, and if we move the knight, it's also hanging. So uh, the idea was to distract the knight. Ah, okay. So for what? Do we need to distract the knight? From e5. Yeah. So we play e5. So after knight a5, we play e5. So it was yeah. better for uh, for black to capture with the pawn and to keep control over the e5 square. Mm -hmm. But he took and then e5. Now f6 is a weakness. Mm -hmm. But f5. If instead of f5, queen g6, how would you play? Mm. I would... Um... I, I would probably just capture the queen and screw up the pawn structure, but that's probably uh, and wrong. And then take the pawn on f6, but then you lose on c4. Yeah. What's the problem? Um... No, we should probably move the queen somewhere. Um, oh, what to move the queen? How about to f4? Yeah, exactly. We move the queen to f4, and the, the, he can't take the pawn on e5 because of queen takes on Checkmate. f8. Yeah. Uh, for example, here rook a to e8, but then knight c7. Rook e7 and e6. So white has a strong pawn on e6. And he gonna play queen queen d6 and e7. Mm -hmm. So f5 was played. Queen e2. Push the pawn. Rook is six blocking the pawn, but uh, the rook is a bad blocker, so it's always better to block the pawn with a minor piece. And the yeah. best, the best uh, minor piece is the knight, of course. I mean, the best to block the past pawn. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So that's why knight f4 here. Looks like the knight on e5 is out of the game, so you know, black has no tempers to join the knight. And uh, he loses the exchange. If, for example, well, actually it was played rook f to e8 and he sacrificed the exchange. But if he goes back, then I think this move, queen where? I guess to e7, but after that, then we can just play knight d5. Yeah, so queen b7. So, 
Yeah, 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 okay. I guess 95 anyway. 95. Uh, maybe... Maybe first queen h5 to threaten mm. to play yeah, g6. Yeah. King g8 yeah. and... How to continue? Knight d5 maybe. Maybe. Um, I don't see many better than this. And then we are threatening to capture only 5 too. And e7 also. So I don't know which one is better, e7 first and or or uh, rook f5 first. Maybe rook f5. Okay, it doesn't matter, but he sacrificed the exchange. Mm -hmm. Knight take, queen take, queen takes, queen d3. The pawn is hanging g6. Rook f4, knight to c6. Is uh, e5 hanging now? Um, c takes, takes, takes. Yes. No, yeah, I can say that yes, but after queen d5, um so what if he takes the queen and then takes the rook or the, the pawn only five mm. how would you play i think i would probably capture the knight uh, the rook Actually, oh, sorry, sorry, um, what if I do capture with the, what if I capture the knight, hmm. So it takes, takes, check, king, f2, um, and then rook comes all the way back down to e8, maybe not. Oh, I think it's just simply rook d1, and after knight moves, yeah. we, we promote okay. the pawn. Yeah, okay. All right. So he decided here. He decided to take only five immediately. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, does uh, white threaten with any? Oh, does black now threaten with anything? They threaten knight f three. That's scary. Yeah. So how how to play then? Could move the rook off the e file, but that's passive. We could also take the the knight. Take the knight, but we sacrifice the exchange back and. Uh... Yeah, that's right. Um. I guess I guess we could play rook e four. That would also stop it. Or we could just trade the queens. Trade the queens, uh, but he can still yeah, play yeah. Uh, knight f three after trade. So we we take the queen. Knight f3, I guess. Oh, so we take. In that order, it would work. Uh, queen takes, rook takes, only six. Mm -hmm. So, and, and uh, then... knight f3 is still a threat. And then we should play probably. Uh... <clears throat> king f2 or something. Uh, king f1. Oh, okay. Because sure. if king f2, then knight g4. Yeah, then knight, knight. Or even knight d3. Knight d3 is what I was thinking. It's a lot scarier. Anyway. King g7. Rook f2. King f6. And rook to e2. So the position is winning for uh, for white. So how to play for black now? What do you think? Uh, 
Um, what is threatening to play a rook takes only five? Yeah, I guess we could try queens, but yeah, we could. Then we give them a nice pawn there. Um, yeah, exactly. So this pawn one. decides the game. Yeah. So if rook is seven, then what? D6. D6, yeah, and then we promote the pawn and he can't stop it because the rook will be hanging him. But if he moves yeah. the rook... Then we take the knight. Yeah. So in this position he resigned. Hmm. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, here white, pawn, white pawns are really weak, uh, but the f6 is also a weakness and uh, because of uh, the activeness of white pieces, white found this plan to sacrifice the pawn to distract the enemy knight and then to play e5 to create a weakness on f6 near the enemy king. And after black decided not to sacrifice the pawn here on f6, but push the pawn to f5, white could uh, create a passed pawn and that's why to block this passed pawn uh, why uh, no, black was able to sacrifice the exchange because his his knight is on the edge of the board yeah so the, that that was the only way to stop the pawn <clears throat> 